الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوب اليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وبارك على عبدك ورسولك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, praise Him, seek help from Him, we ask forgiveness from Him, we repent to Him, we seek refuge in Him from our own evils and our own bad deeds. Anyone has been guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is indeed guided. And anyone has been misguided, you will never find a guardian to guide him. I bear witness that no deity except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partner. I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a servant and his messenger. O oh Allah, let your prayer, your peace and blessing be upon your servant Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and all his companions. In continuation of the series of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's ethic, we're going to start with the ethic of al ithar selflessness. The al ithar <coughs> has different uh, levels. The first one, when you prefer somebody on you, that you have somebody you prefer that you, <coughs> so that you take care of yourself, you take care of, of somebody else. Um, that you, for instance, if you have uh, food, you give them the food, Although you may need the food, but you give you give them the food. If you have clothes, you give them the clothes. Maybe you need the cloth. Or even if you have water, you can give them the water, and you you need the water, but you you prefer to give it to them. This is ithar selfishness. Uh, this is the first level, uh, and that uh, this kind of ithar you will help the heart and uh, when you prefer somebody on you this means that uh, you do something good to somebody else and even if you need it the only thing that you that you don't do it's hard to that you 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 don't be very careful when you deal with the devil the shaitan because he may lead you to something that will make you in the side of the shaitan than in the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So extremely important to watch what you, uh, what you do in that regard. The second level of al ithar that you, you prefer the satisfaction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, opposing to any satisfaction of any of his creation. The satisfaction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most important. Regardless what you go through, regardless uh, how long you live or how difficult it is. So this is also the level of the prophets uh, that they, they sacrifice their life, their time for the sake of spreading the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he gave the, the utmost example of that. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he stood against all the, what the Quraysh, what the people wanted him to, to, to give him, and the, he preferred to continue on for the sake of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. So uh, regardless, how much difficulties that he's been through, but he stood firm for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So he is the one who advised his nation. He uh, fought for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be worshipped alone. And, uh, and that's the reason that you have 1.7 billion people on earth 
follow Ibrahim Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the true religion of Islam or worship of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala alone. Um, and and with this, uh, this is the way that uh, that happened, uh, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will uh, reward whoever will follow uh, the Prophet uh, with the paradise. So, and just uh, keep in mind that uh, when you seek the satisfaction of people, you will never reach it. The satisfaction of people will never stop. And uh, someone said, فَلَيْتُكَ تَحْلُوا وَالْحَيَاةُ مُرِيرَةً وَلَيْتُكَ تَرْضَ وَالْأَنَامُ غِضَابُ وَلَيْتُكَ وَلَيْتَ الَّذِي بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكَ عَامِرٌ وَبَيْنَ وَبَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ الْعَالَمِينَ خَرَابُ إذا صح منك الود فالكل هين وكل الذي فوق التراب تراب. Someone that was uh, satisfying Allah سبحانه وتعالى and he, he doesn't care about anybody else. He also he has the satisfaction of Allah سبحانه وتعالى is the most important even if that will lead to the uh, that everybody else will be against. And he doesn't care about what's the relationship with others, as long as the relationship with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the most important. That he satisfies Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, obeying Him uh, uh, in His commands and staying away from any things that He asked not to do. And the, uh, because basically he just find that with everything on the top of this earth is earth too. So no, no, not, nobody going to live forever. The third level of selfishness, the ethar, uh, and that you relate your ethar to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, than than even yourself. That the, the selfishness is for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala alone. That you cannot even. Uh, they think of anything more than just to satisfy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the highest levels. Uh, things could help you to reach that level is to maximize the importance of, uh, of what you're supposed to do in obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also that when you uh, see something wrong, also you know that this is, you, you distinguish between the right and wrong. And also, when you desire into the the morals, because the uh, the ithar is uh, the, the best of the levels of the morals. So the uh, the difference between ithar or sakha wujud. is sakha the aramalat that the the you give you. You give, and you even you need that what you give, but that's a very high level. Um, and the, also, when you give more, and uh, uh, and even you have uh, just little, so you give something for yourself. That's called Jude. This means generosity. But the the third one, which is. The, the highest level also is called al ithar and that when you give, uh, although you need what you give, but you still you prefer the other to give. And that's, uh, that's the highest level of al ithar selflessness. Uh, so also there is a, the opposite of al ithar called al athara. Al athara means that you want to keep for yourself, but al ithar is that you give. From yourself to others. So, full of holy hands, astaghfirullah alaykum. Adu Allah, and to kun nazi saati jaba. Supplicate me, Allah accept our supplication. Alhamdulillah. والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله 
ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد from the verses that talking about al uh, when the the brothers of Yusuf السلام, came to him in Egypt and the regard although what they have done they throw him in the will and they thought that they destroying him this way but they found him one had the, one of the highest positions in Egypt he's the one who given them the the provision that they came to to collect so when uh, when he confronted them, the Prophet Yusuf confronted his brothers, so he reminded them what they have done to him. They said, That's